Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, what Ender Ass here again, uh, this week with another Strat Stratios Combat Slight Exploration video. Uh, this week we will be taking on the final of the Angel Hideaways, uh, the hardest of them, this is the Angel Forlorn Hideaway. Um, I'll just quickly go through the fit. Uh, if you watched my last couple of videos, you'll have seen this new fit I've been trying out. Um, it's working so well, it's very strong. Um, and in fact it even worked uh, quite well, so let me go through it but, and I'll tell you the story in a second so in the rig's got uh, anti-explosive pump 2 nano pump 2 and nano pump 1 obviously covops ops device 2 armor repairer 2, remote armor repairer 2 for your drones drone link augmenter 2 salvager and probe launcher uh, 10 megabit afterburner, 2 omnidirectional tracking link, and the range script. I've put a warp disruptor in. Uh, this time I'll explain that. I did have a um, a target painter in here, um, but I'm just I want to see how much difference it makes not having the target painter in for drone aggro. Cap recharge twos, two of them. Medium armor repairers, two. Two energized adaptive nanomembranes, twos, power analysis system two, and a drone damage amplifier two. I'll, I'll link the fit in the description so you guys can see that. Um, I got lots of drones in here, but the main things are two geckos, and for angels, five at least five. Uh, sorry, warriors. Valkyries are good, but uh, warriors and the salvage drones as well. That's all the important stuff covered. Um, Important to note this the one of the joys of this fit is it's cap stable while you're running the rep and um, these two and the script is cap stable while you're running that. So without further ado, let's head in to an angel forlorn hideaway. Um, I feel free to read through this text. It's the same for any of the levels above level one of the hideaway. Um, let's give you a little bit of lore. Um, as we warp in, so you'll see I've got the target painter still in here. Um, excuse me. <coughs> the target painter was um, a fit originally to try and reduce the amount of aggro your drones take. So I'm just trying with that. So we'll place that. See, it's um, get warriors out because it's frigs. Orbit this at, mm, let's just go 30. Turn on that, turn on that turn on that because we're all cap stable target the frigates oh see I'm also going to target this warrior and you'll see now while we've got the uh, um, armor repper remote armor repper although obviously he's immediately going to go out of range because he's so fast so uh, we can pull them back in and uh, heal, heal them up later but that's the key one of the key things this fit is so that you are entirely self-sustaining in wormhole space or null sec you don't need a station or um, any anywhere uh, you don't need any facilities to keep yourself fit and uh, in shape um, and that's why we carry the mobile depot so that when you find a safe spot you can anchor that and you can refit to put your data analyzer or your relic analyzer in um, and go and do uh, cos uh, data and relic sites. Um, so you'll notice that one of the problems here is the distance we've spawned from the pirates means that the 30 kilometers is too much. I can't target any of them, so pull my drones back in. I didn't actually want to pull them back into my bay, but let's do that. Let's quickly target this one and wrap it up while we work on getting closer to these again. Um, here we are, look, and then remote armor wrap, and we're good to go. So, this video is just to give you an idea of what to expect in the um, site. Uh, there you go, that's fully repaired. As you can see, there's basically the key thing for this is there's quite a lot of waves so they're not particularly challenging this one obviously all frigates again but has one cruiser 
so you might struggle if you're in a frigate or something but this one uh, for Stratios it's very easy um, it's just a lot of waves um, so what I was going to mention the other thing I discovered about this fit the other day is it's also very good at defending itself in PvP so I was in Nalsec ratting uh, an asteroid belts a couple of few days ago um, just minding my own business and I got ganked by uh, initially a Loki turned up just a Loki and obviously I was pretty concerned Loki Tech 3 cruisers very strong ships very good at PvP um, and you know he turned up immediately warp scrambled me I was like, oh here we go I thought I was gonna pop instantly I turned my stuff on well I had it on anyway because I was already ratting turn my stuff on and he couldn't break my tank very, very quickly established that he couldn't get through pull these back because much quicker with geckos now that they're all not frigates um, discovered he couldn't get through my armor rep which was very nice so I threw my geckos back out and started hammering him while I was trying to get away and the damage output was so high it was really fast um, if I had a warp scrambler uh, or a warp disruptor fit it would he'd have he'd have died and I'd have had a lovely billion isk kill mail uh, to show you guys today um, as it happened he managed to warp off with about half structure left that's how quick the damage application was he was really surprised um, even without a point he only got away with half structure um, so that was very pleasing they then uh, sent a you can see, see the speed the geckos get through cruisers by the way just absolutely flies through look at the huge damage they do um, if you want to find out more about uh, geckos um, I, I go into more detail about why they're so strong in my most recent in my last video the angel forsaken hideaway I believe um, oh they may cover it in the hidden hideaway video I did I can't remember at this point sorry but I'm not going to go into detail here in case people are watching my series they don't want me to repeat myself all the time um, but so yeah they, then an, uh, an interceptor came in um, to pin me down the Loki came back in and still between the two of them they couldn't couldn't take me down this tank this tank here was enough to keep them off and you know I was able to they kept putting up interdiction bubbles but I probably lasted maybe 15 minutes they were chasing me around and I kept getting to the edge of interdiction bubble they pop in, that put up a new one blah blah until eventually I was able just to warp off they had unfortunately because uh, once the Loki clued in to the amount of damage I was able to deal he targeted and webbed one of my geckos and was able to kill it off so it was still quite an expensive counter encounter for me uh, obviously that, echo cost, that gecko cost me about 150 million but better to lose just that one than this whole fit which including the geckos runs about half a billion um, so eventually I was able to warp off and then obviously the joy of Astratios is you've got the Kovops cloaked too so as soon as you're able to warp off cloaked up they couldn't find me I watched them fly around for a little while cloaked up and then was on my way that's this site over already at, as it happens so I was actually a bit quicker than I was expecting I think there was one less, one less wave than when I last ran this site um, so there you go nice and easy as you can see um, we've got it done in six or seven minutes um, I'll just quick I'll salvage the wrecks now again the downside of um, some of these sites is the warping distance is a bit random so this one because we've warped in so far from the pirate spawn sites it takes a long time for the MTU to pull the wrecks in which is a bit of a bummer so ordinarily this step would be a lot quicker um, and in fact I will stop talking while the MTU pulls the rest of the wrecks in salvage everything I'll just speed this I'll stop talking so that I can speed this section up and um, slow it down again at the end and you can just you guys can just jump in and have a look at the um, what we've managed to pull in uh, okay so 
I'll speak to you in a second. So after the video I thought I'd just um, add a little bit uh, here in this section with no sound. Um, basically I wanted to let you guys know that by trade normally in EVE I am an industry pilot. So um, if you guys had any interest I could do a series uh, where I build say something interesting, maybe an orca from scratch, you know, source the blueprint copies, build all the constituent parts, mine all the stuff for that, um, and do a whole series where we go through all that process and eventually hopefully end up with an orca. Um, if that's something anyone, you guys might be interested in, interested in please drop me a comment, um, let me know. So I'll uh, have a think about it. Anyway, cheers. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I've finished salvaging and the MTU is just pulling in the very last container from the salvage ship out there. Um, in salvage, uh, we picked up, uh, if I just select the salvage in here, 1.7 million. So that's not bad, that means the salvaging was worth doing for you know, 5 minutes work, 1.7 million just there. And that's the last crate in, we'll just check what's in the MTU. 196,000, not really worth mentioning, but we'll loot it anyway pull the MTU in and excuse me there we have it all in we've got do, do, oh bring it anyway all in it's just shy of two million um is the bounty going to come in Let's see uh transactions no it, the bounty's not gonna come in yet but would have been nice to be able to show you guys that. Um, but there you have it, guys. Uh, it's the Angel Forlorn Hideaway done. Um, next week, I'll move on to the Angel Refuge. There's actually one in here now. Uh, a few of them in here. There's so many sites in here. Um, Angel Refuge, and we'll carry on working on our way up. From after, after the Angel Refuge, they start getting significantly harder, and hopefully, they'll be more, well, more worthwhile for you guys. But I wanted to go through it all in order. Uh, actually, if you were to go through the list of combat sites, you'll see Class 2, so the one harder than the hideaway, is the Angel Burrow. I have not seen an Angel Burrow for months, if not a year or so, so I can't do an Angel Burrow video for you unless one randomly pops up in the next week, but I doubt it. Um, if you guys have any information on that, uh, know where the Angel Burrows have gone please let me know, please leave a comment. Um, but anyway guys, if you liked the video, um, please like, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Um, as I work, After we've worked through the Angel sites, um, I'll show you this fit off in some wormholes. Um, I did try it out in a C1 wormhole site the other day and it all went fine. Uh, C2 is the aim, that's what this fit was designed for. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you all next week. Cheers.